Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I bring you today's word for February 25th, 2015. I'm excited about this message, so I want to just jump right into it. There's a lot to cover today. So the title of today's message is, We Serve a God Who Will Get Right Down in the Fire With You. Glory to God. Our God will not allow you to walk around in the fire by yourself. He will get right down in the fire with you. Let's pick up the story of Daniel where we left off yesterday as we continue this series entitled Grace-Based Success, where we are learning how to win in life, but how to do it God's way by his unearned and amazing grace. Today we're going to cover Daniel chapter 3, verses 20 to 25. This is what the Bible says. Then he, this is uh, King Nebuchadnezzar, then he, the king, commanded some of his strongest soldiers to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were all tied up. Then he told the soldiers to throw them into the hot fiery furnace. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were tied up and thrown into the hot furnace. They were wearing robes, pants, cloth caps, and other clothes. The king was very angry when he gave the command, so the soldiers did it very quickly. So they grabbed them to throw them in, but the fire was so hot that the flames killed the strong soldiers. They were killed when they went close to the fire to throw in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But in the process, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego fell into the fire while they were tied up very tightly, the Bible says. Then King Nebuchadnezzar jumped to his feet. He was surprised. He asked his, his advisors, wait a minute. We only threw three men into the fire, right? And they said, yes, that's right. He said, but look, I see four men walking around in the fire. They're not tied up at all, and they're not burned. And the fourth man looks like the Son of God. And this is one of the best stories in the Bible. I feel like preaching this morning. What does this mean to you today? I have four things to share with you. I believe they're going to be a blessing to you. Number one, the attacks of the enemy often backfire on him because of God's divine protection. Nebuchadnezzar lost some of his strongest soldiers because they attempted to touch God's people. As they were throwing in the Hebrew boys, they got consumed. The same fire that could not consume Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego quickly killed Nebuchadnezzar's best men. See, divine protection can keep you safe from any of the enemy's attacks. God did not have to save the Hebrew boys, but he did it by grace, honoring their faith. God will do the same for you. Your faith can access God's grace for divine protection. Number two, God can take the very thing that was meant to destroy you and actually use it to bless you. And there's many examples of this in the Bible. This is one. Not only were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego thrown into the fiery furnace, but they were thrown in bound. The Bible says that they were, they were tied up very tightly. So the same fire that was supposed to destroy them wound up freeing the ropes that had them bound, right? So, so God saw to it that the fire ate up the ropes, but it didn't touch them, didn't touch their clothes, didn't touch their skin, didn't touch them at all. God saw to it that they would walk out of the fire and later we find out that they didn't even smell like smoke. See what the enemy meant for evil, God used for their good. An episode that was designed to destroy Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego actually wound up getting them promoted. This happens all the time. See, the more Satan messes with you, the stronger you get. If he knew any better, he would just leave you alone. The Bible says, had the princes of this world known what they were doing, they would have never crucified the Lord of glory. When they sent him to the cross, they sent Jesus to the cross, they thought they were winning, but that actually caused them to lose. And the same thing happens with you. Number three, you can be free in the middle of a terrible situation. The Hebrew boys went into the fire bound and they left the fire completely free. But before they left, they spent some time walking around in the fire, right? They enjoyed that. It didn't seem like they were in a hurry to get out of the fire. They were walking around in the middle of the fire, enjoying God's divine protection. They were in the fire and like, yo, check this out. Whoa, look at this. We are not being burned. The ropes were burned, but we're not burned. The ropes were burned, our clothes are not burned. The ropes were burned, our hands, our skin is not burned. The soldiers were burned, but we're not burned. They walked around enjoying it. See, not only will God deliver you from a bad situation, but God can actually deliver you in it. 
You can be in the middle of a bad situation and actually enjoy the fact that it can't harm you. You can be in the middle of a bad situation and enjoy the fact that divine protection is on you and is keeping you through the whole process. So don't be so quick to get out of a situation that's not harming you because God can use that situation as a witness of his power. People need to see you in the middle of a bad situation with a smile on your face, a song in your heart and a spring in your step. People need to be able to see that you can go through something as a child of the most high God and, and that situation not destroy you. Matter of fact, that situation not even harm you. Matter of fact, that situation turn out for your good. Number four and finally, our God will get down in the fire with you. The main reason Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were able to walk around freely in the fire in a way that seemed like they were enjoying it is because they were not alone. God got down in the fire with the Hebrew boys. Glory to God. See, God will become your fourth man in the fire. Our God has said, I will never leave you. I will never run away from you. I will never relax the grip that I have on you. That's Hebrews 13 and 5. See, God is more committed to you than you're committed to you. He will never turn his back on you. So when you know God is in the fire with you, you're not afraid. When you know God is in the fire with you, you're not in a hurry to get out. When you know God is in the fire with you, you're excited about the testimony the fire is going to bring. So don't bow down to the enemy. Don't be afraid of his threats and don't succumb to his pressure. Even if you are thrown in the fire, we serve a God who will get down in the fire with you by his grace and for his glory. Glory to God. Let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Speak this over your life. Get excited about what God did for them and God will do for you. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your amazing grace and my requirement to live by faith. I enjoyed today's message. I am excited about you and your power. My faith is energized as I read about your divine protection. You don't have to do anything. But you choose to bless me by grace. You choose to honor my faith. You choose to be a shield for me. You choose to keep me from the enemy's secret traps and deadly diseases. I have made you, Father, the most high, my dwelling and my habitation. Therefore, no evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come close to my dwelling. I give you, I'm sorry, I give and you give angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. A thousand can fall on my side and even 10,000 at my right hand, but it will not touch me. Only with my eyes shall I see the reward of the wicked. I enjoy divine protection daily. Me and my household are protected by you and your angels. I am not afraid of the fire because I know that you can get down in the fire with me. When you are with me, I can walk around in the fire and not be burned. I can walk out of the fire and not even smell like smoke. People can see me in the fire with a smile on my face and a spring in my step. Thank you, Father, for being so committed to me. You will never leave me, forsake me, or relax the grip you have on me. Your commitment to me gives me peace and confidence. I enter this day with fearless confidence, a confidence that is rooted and grounded in you, your grace, and your commitment to me. I declare this by faith in Jesus name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Sign up. You'll get the messages and there will be a blessing to you as you head into this day. Just remember, no matter what you're going through, we serve a God who will get down in the fire with you. God bless you.